This video, we're going to be breaking down the dollar three two six or the three two six odd defense in college football twenty five. If you guys want to get my full, uh, if you guys want to get my full version of this defensive ebook, I'll put a link to it down in the description. So this is this is um, a super super good defense. So what we're going to do here. I'm just going to grab. Um, let me just grab just a five out play. It's kind of a cool little playbook here. So uh, the defense we're going to be looking at is 3-2-6 odd. And let's just check kind of our players here. Perfect. Uh, and we are going to be rocking DB Fire 2. So the setup, very simple. All you're going to do is you are just going to spread your defensive line. And then you can press coverage if you want to. And the key to this defense is to slant your line inside. You're going to see that this creates better blitz angles for the defensive ends. They're going to hold that edge. And you're going to consistently get pretty good pressure off of the edge as you can see. Now, another thing that you can do to kind of get this blitz to be a little bit better is go into your coverage shell. So if we go into coverage shells here, actually, oh, I thought I had coverage shells with this defense. I guess I don't. No problem. Let's come back out and DB fire two then. So another thing that is uh, really important with this defense, so you see how we get this kind of wide split right here from these guys? So essentially what that's gonna do is it's going to mean that it's a little bit worse, honestly. But normally, you're going to get at least one of these slot corners free. One of the things you can do if you want to is you can actually leave the slot corners, like literally just call it stock. And you'll be surprised. A lot of times, you'll still get one or two people free. But I want to show you this other thing that you can do to kind of get a better alignment for those defensive ends. So if you look one click over to the dollar three two six odd, or not odd, um, 326 mug, sorry. This formation has the same exact play. Pretty much everything's the same. The only difference is these guys are going to be in the line of scrimmage. And then the other difference is when you pinch your defensive line out of this look, they're going to go right on the hips. And then you get right on the hips right here. And you're going to see this is going to be a lot better for getting both of these slot corners in free at the quarterback. So you don't want them too wide. It's kind of a little bit of an art here. You don't want them too wide. You don't want them too, like, close together. You kind of want them just right. One other thing that I like to do when I run the splits is I like to move these slot corners in a little bit more. Um, in this game, I don't think contain blitzing is super OP yet, but moving the slot corners in does help the blitz uh, as well. The same thing is true if you want to run this out of the 3-2-6 odd. So if you want it more out of like a base dollar, the only reason why I would want to maybe be in this defense as opposed to mug is really because it's going to do a better job against the run because you can pinch. But if you spread and then slant down, and then we're just going to slide these guys in. I'm going to stand about right here. And you see you're going to get all that pressure off of the edge. So again, that's basically the 3-2-6. Another way that to run the 3-2-6 is to pinch the D-line. And if you want a QB contain, you'll see a lot of times this left side or right side guy will come in. Another thing you can do that will kind of trigger some different things in this defense is user this guy that's opposite of the running back. And what you'll see here, now we're going to get a little bit better of that right edge. But in general, you know, that's it's a pretty simple defense. I would say in another little tip here is if you – if you pinch your defensive line, you don't want to leave them on the default blitz angles. As you saw, they didn't really come in. You either want to crash them or slant them outside, or you want to uh, either want to slant them outside or you want to QB contain. The QB contain honestly probably works the best. Let me see here, and this time we're able to get that right side pressure. So just a little simple tutorial here I wanted to throw out about this defense. Another way to run it, if you really want to try this, you can. Uh, QB contain, like basically move these guys in and then QB contain. And you'll see it looks like this. And what you'll see is a lot of times you get crazy pressure. So that blitz, the blitzing concept is still available and still does work. But in general, you don't have to do that to get pressure this year. All you have to do is spread, crash inside, and a lot of times these guys will come off the edge. I want to thank you for watching the video. And if you want to check out my full breakdown of this defense, it's available on our school community. Link to that to sign up is in the description.